Okay, this is Bloodlust 2 Nemesis, or just Bloodlust Nemesis. Um, this game's not released yet. Uh, it's from WRF Studios, the uh, developer, designer developer, um, William Fisher, Bill, contacted me uh, to give it a try and tell me what, tell them what I thought. So this is it, my first time playing. Let's get some first impressions here. I noticed it started up. Uh, I wanted to start up my uh, Steam VR, which I don't do VR at the moment. Um, I bought a VR headset and didn't like it. And got a refund, so. Um, so I don't know if that if this meant meant for that or not. Um, I don't think it is, but maybe that's just just something. Well, I'm just kind of letting Bill know that it started up anyway. Okay, I'm just do the options real quick here. Start with okay, graphics. Okay. I usually, I always turn music down on these games. Uh, music sounds fine though, but just okay. back there we go. So the X didn't work on that. No. Okay. Uh, new character. This looks pretty good. Not the best posture. Uh, strength, five points to spin. So it's got a little bit of an RPG element to it. I didn't expect that, which is nice because I love RPGs. I'm almost always a thief class, so I'll probably. Yeah, I'll just go Dex. I'm a Dex monkey anyway. Okay. Player name. Uh, it looks like a Vlad. Vlad. Gorn. Stone. Nice. <laughs> uh, okay. Hairstyle. Definitely not going with that so much. Zoom in. Uh, rotate character. Uh, let's see. Ooh, we've got the tail going on there. Uh, Oh, just, just keep going there then. Hair color. Uh, let's see. Something I can see. Something I can see. I like that one. That one. Yeah, there we go. Tone. Skin tone, okay. Um, pretty pasty guy. I guess I'll go with a fair skin one. Lip color. I'd like to be able to zoom in on his face, but I don't So lip color, I don't know. Boy, getting a little outrageous looking. I guess I'll go with black. Bring my inner goth out. Eyeshadow, yeah. <laughs> okay. Tattoo, face tats. Oh no, uh, face tats. Body tats maybe, but clan affiliation. Don't know. Okay, led by Largo. It feels like it's um, maybe thief related, so good enough to get started here. Single player, multiplayer doesn't seem to work. Current characters only level one, characters must be level two or higher uh, before entering a uh, multiplayer game. So, okay, let's try a little single player here. Again, this is this is not an uh, unreleased, unreleased game so far. And, uh, I didn't play the first one yet. Um, Rise and awaken. It's a one man, one man studio. Apparently, he does it all of this himself, which is pretty, pretty cool. I'm living vicariously through this guy because I always kind of wanted to make a game, but I don't know if I've got the uh, time or patience or skill, and talent. Okay, then moving around. Don't leave. Come here. 
two, and three are my. Uh, that works pretty good. Unless it's um, Unreal Engine. Get my bearings here. Can I axe her something? Axe is something, miss. Talk to Miko, sure. Does this flesh suit you? Varak asked me to bring you, using your mind, my magic, and a drifter's body. You are now the custodian to this telekinetic vessel. Yes, this body is undead. Find Varak. Go through the sewers to the warehouse. He's waiting for you there. However, it's best you build them up as soon as possible. Increase your strength. Perhaps some charisma, or maybe some vitality. It's entirely up to you. But choose why- Yes, one more thing. Beware of the Wraith. Neither you nor I own this body you possess. It belongs to the dead. Okay. I'm not gonna try to persuade you yet. I'm not ready for anything, I don't think. This character is... Monster. I heard something monstrous. Eye for inventory. This is all very familiar stuff. That's good. Blue keys. RPG screen here. It's a small axe or a simple axe. I think the small axe looks better. Let's see. Right click. Right click. Oh, twin axes? Yeah. Do this? No? Maybe not. Feed. Okay. Let's just see. Q to swap weapons. Okay. Q now. There we go. That's three to twelve and two to ten. Okay. There we go. Finding secrets. Vampire gaze. Something there. Something going on there. Let's see. This. Huh. Okay. Was this there before? So I came from Crouch. Okay. Got that. Figured out. I wonder if I opened this or if that was uh, open before. Oh, they're just random. Okay. Oh, hey, all right. Must have been trapped. I'm a thief. I should be able to... I should be able to take care of that properly. Boots, wine. What's that? Bottle. Wine bottle. Blue steel. Blue steel. Isn't that uh, Zoolander? That's one of his look. Special look. Blue steel. Feet requires charisma. Requires a 16 strength. Charisma. Identify scroll. Health. Spirit force. Wine bottle. Wonder what happened to my blue steel. Maybe that was originally blue steel. Yeah. Okay. Hold on here. I think that is what happened to I used that to um, open that area. That uh, vampire site, whatever it's called. Okay. First fight. Okay. To bite. Oop, okay. Yes. Yummy. Let's ask 
actually... That makes me thirsty. That makes me oddly thirsty. Um, press enter to summon. What does that do? Are you like my friend now? You're my little vampire lady? Lady friend? With a big rack. Journal. Okay, this is all pretty familiar. Okay. Some stairs there, or some ladder there. Can't, can't hurt her. Simple so far, I think. Sewer tunnel. third person kind of perspective, you know, tight quarters, I like it. I like it. Let's see here. What's this do? Oh, I can level up here. Let's see. Some more decks. fire. Nose ring hook. I'm aware of that stuff. Whoa. What do we got? Just uh, making friends everywhere, aren't you, Emily? Sewer creature. Extra strong. Flex damage drain. I get right up on him. <coughs> Asylum. Let's see. Where was I supposed to go? Uh, 
Find Baruch. Look through the sewers beneath the asylum until you find the warehouse sewer entrance. So that was warehouse sewer entrance. Maybe this is it. Some help. <coughs> this guy's kind of tough. Look at can I can I eat feed on him? Help, guys, intruder uh, over here. Uh, okay. Uh, Pretty hard. Let's see if I get my health to come up here. Pretty tough. She's barely just chipping away at him. I don't know if I'm, she's at level 12. I don't think I'm supposed to be fighting this dude. Is he just gonna follow me all through here? He is! weapon, that'd be alright. Let's see. I'm looking for warehouse sewer entrance. To my map here now. Alright, maybe he's this first like I'm supposed to I'm sure okay, healed up to 47 Let's see um, K for skill points um, points available to Swarm, sure. Well, I'm not sure. I'm not sure, but I'm sure. Skill points available. Uh, yeah. Warm sounds good. Okay.
wonder how you check and see, like, uh, where... Uh, where her heal is at, or you just summon her. She's at 13, that was pretty quick. She heals pretty fast, it looks like. We got some creepy dude in the chair over here. What's up, creepy dude? Are you in there, fledgling leader? I mean, hunter. Miko did good, very good. Your flesh looks great. Though not sure why I'm so surprised, since she worked wonders with me as well. How do you feel? That's normal. You will feel better after the sound of the vessel's skills and attributes a bit. It would appear a shadow hunter destroyed a vampire emperor and an entire sect has made some of the other bloodlines a bit nervous. In about 10 days, you're going to be greeted with over 9,000 undead at your doorstep. Judging by past events, I might normally have faith in your ability to deal with the situation, but it would appear the undead have stepped up their game a bit. The factions in this city, under the authorization of the Council, are working on a new synthetic blood. The project is headed by the Taka Corporation under the codename Nemesis. Neural embryonic morphine immortal synthetic immune something or other. <laughs> I don't fully understand it, but I do know it makes the kindred even more powerful, much stronger with increased senses and the ability to morph into any organic creature. It's not. And when I heard of this, I thought it might be in your best interest to pay a visit to see for yourself possibly delay or even destroy production of this new blood before the enhanced undead appear at your gates. It wouldn't have worked. With the new blood drug coursing through the undead's black veins, they can sense any hunter cells nearby. The only solution was to place you into a telekinetic vessel. This is where Miko's talents come in. You should be safe from suspicion now. Allowing you to move freely among the sect using only your mind and Miko's magic. Oh, and you will undoubtedly notice that insatiable feeling of thirst for blood. I'm afraid that the authenticity was a necessity. So of course this vessel is a blood feeder. Taka Corp rented some space in Chinatown, in a back room of a local herbal store. The space is probably being used for a lab of some sort. It's not their main lab, but it's still something worth checking out. Chinatown. You can get to it through the large doors at the north end of this warehouse. But not so fast, since getting inside the lab section will most likely be tricky. Giggler. Not exactly. In fact, he's just plain crazy. But unfortunately, someone you're going to have to meet. Giggler is the leader of the Bogata clan, and for whatever reason, Taka Corp is using him as their main guinea pig and test subject in their new blood trials, giving him access to some of their restricted areas. Taka Corp's security is a bit more advanced than that. Giggler probably enters the lab like other Taka employees, using a retina eye scanner. So I will leave it to your imagination on how you're going to make that happen. He's in the Bogata hideout. It's a warehouse converted from an old deep dungeon uncovered under the city years ago. The entrance is behind a large metal garage at the end of the first alley in Chinatown. Not likely. In fact, finding him probably won't be easy. His office is deep and possibly hidden. Better brush up on your intimidate skill, and then find a guard to interrogate and set up a meeting with Giggler. It's probably the only way you will ever find him. Okay. street now maybe hmm. 
just ash. Don't need it yet. I like it. What can I say? So far, so good. I might be a little bit biased because uh, the developer contacted me, and I think that's pretty cool. It's always fun to get a free game, um, even if it's uh, in beta. I'm always happy to, always happy to play a freaking video game. So this is entrance to the hideout. I think that's what I need. Probably not supposed to, but I'm gonna. I gonna go upstairs and stuff. It seems like a kind of a poor design if you were gonna come downstairs and walk directly into a wall. But I get it too. It's like, oh, you're not supposed to go up those. Well, I know, but I'm gonna try. Some victims, maybe. Again, thirsty. What's the deal? Just the sound of... I bet if he peed, I'd have to pee, too. <coughs> can't turn him out. I can't make him into one of my minions. What's this? Address the sewers, okay. Hey, you what? Mysterious girl. What's up? Nothing. Hey, haven't I seen you around before? Wait, your face. Yeah, maybe. You looking for some action, or just your next victim? Well... There's a poker game going on inside. Nah, I won't play with those guys. Those crooks cheated a solid gold ring right off my finger. I had the perfect little straight Hey, brush. tell me to play, though. Ace to the five, all the way. But no, they said... Dark Chinatown rules, with aces only counting in high straights. Those guys are thieves. Huh. Yeah, it was. That ring had sentimental value. It was the first thing I ever stole. Are you Vicarious? Yeah, it's an amulet, but it's really mostly just a legend. It's supposed to allow the wearer enter into locked secret passages, leading to the Guardians of the Eye. If the Guardians are destroyed, their essence will charge the amulet. And the amulet, when charged, can prevent the regeneration of health to powerful vampires. Of course, no one knows what the amulet is, or if it actually exists. Hmm. I really want to go in there. So I'm gonna. Not what I'm supposed to do, or maybe it is. Maybe it's just a side mission. I like poker in this game. Pretty good poker player. Sure, I see what's up. Maybe I'm just not ready for it yet. That's where it came from. Yeah. There we go. Money. You want to play, man? Dark China Town rules here, man. No fault, man. You play or you go. No bluff, no raise. You bet every hand. No fault, <laughs> man. Aces only count in high straight. You Tiny in? Right. I don't have any money. So no, screw you. Okay. I'm not coming back here later. Go, go where I'm supposed to go. like that for 
for? Just ask him to get her blood sucked, right? Ask him for it, right? Victim shamer? I'm a victim shamer. I'm a video game victim shamer. Stash. Or girl. Okay, girl. There's a stash there. What? <coughs> ah. Maybe they just start on fire when they die. I guess that's what's going on. I got silver bullets, huh? <gasps> I wasn't taking anything. Wait, who are you? You're not Bugatta. What are you doing sneaking up on people like that? You scared me. Oh good, but keep it down, huh? If the Bugatta catch me in here scavenging through her stuff, I'm burnt dust. You might want to get out of here too since you don't look like you belong here either. Hey Bill, if you ever need some uh, voice actor, let me know, man. Be happy to do a voice for one of your games. The Bugatta clan are using this dungeon as a warehouse to store ingredients for some sort of secret synthetic blood they're developing. This place is crawling with guards and they can smell intruders easily. Especially with that new crazy black nectar they're drinking. Mm. It's supposed to be better than the real thing. I don't know since I've never touched the fake stuff. I prefer my blood warm and dirty. I'm just in here because some of the bioproducts from the process are worth some major dinero. Not to mention the amount of weapons they have in this place could probably guard against the raid of the council itself, if necessary. This entire dungeon is a huge burial chamber where thousands of weapons were buried with the fallen warriors from centuries past. Some are even supposedly enchanted with magic. I don't think the Bugatti give a crap about any of that, though. They're just using this dungeon as a place to hide blood. Okay. Oh yeah, one more thing. Watch out for the pits around here. If you get too close, you'll fall down into the next level. No warning or anything. Of course, that's where the good loot is. But it can be hard to find a way out once you go deeper than floor one. And there's also some pretty strong creatures down there, too. Okay. Can I look in your box? Cat? I dated a girl named Cat. She was a bitch. Alright, can I take anything from this stash? Place items into the stash that belong to the clan owners. Okay. That is. Fast travel pit, sub floor. Okay. One floor at a time here. I'm still just a weakling. Let's see, there's this. Swarm. Oh, there's the other swarm. Oh, they're just gonna hang out with me? Cool. The rats have well, named Oh, with man. Them. Where the hell? Oh. That blood. You see what that stuff did? Where did you come from? Was that a trap? Uh, that was just the first batch. They fixed them. Yeah, wait for my health to go up here. What the hell was that? Yeah. That tactical. You see the stuff? your eyes open. Do your job. I don't want the council saying we didn't do our part or anything. No, they do. They don't do anything. Even the sec leader has been asleep for years. Who's running this show anyway? You think get it? What if I can eat, eat that guy? Drink his blood. I think that's what, that's what it was. That's what was spitting fire at me. Damn fire spitting thing. See, I don't think he's a victim. Trade merchant. Okay, let's have a look. Let me guess. You want the train, huh? 
an inventory. Says log picks. I'm a thief. I gotta have those. I gotta have them. Uh, shift when dropping to split. Let's see. Do I just go like that? I drag into the special container. Must right click to transfer item. You don't have enough. I have enough for what? Anything? You don't have enough. Uh, not enough money. Four dollars. You have zero. Okay. Back, you hoser. Let's see. This and then get rid of that. It's a fire breathing thing. There's gonna be a few of those. Can I summon more rats? How many can I summon? Maximum rats and the increased skill for more rats. Okay, jeans. Yeah. There we go. Armor. I like it. Silver bullets. I could sell stuff to him, that's what it is. I sell, sell you some crap I got, huh? Okay, right click to sell. Boom! Ten bucks. Not interested. This uh, blue steel, I kind of want that. My strength, charisma, maybe. Amulet of bone, charisma, charisma. I think I need to get more charisma. What do I need for that, anyway? I sold him. this. There we go. So you can't level up yet. So, okay. Like fire comes out once and that's it. that pop up. Try this fire. Oh, got a spitfire. Maybe not. Oh, it's like the ashes of the dead to breathe in. Which I've accidentally done, by the way. Not, not, not the big Lebowski bad way, but that's for another time. That story, Jesus. Where are you going? I just assume they're gonna all spit fire. I wish the M would bring up a bigger map. Um, maybe there is a way to do it if I click on it or something. for map, but it just brings up the little map. Like if there was something to, you know, give me the whole map. Maybe I don't need the whole map, though. let's see. Should I save? Should I save? Is it an auto-save? Probably. Probably an auto-save. Let's see, what do we got here? Access card required for that. <laughs> Pretty loud scorpion. It's up there. Nothing. There's a pit. seen it. Yeah? Some of this, huh? Okay. I'm gonna need more charisma here. As soon as I level up, that's gotta be what I'm getting. Tougher than that, huh?
Charisma. I don't think there was anything over nine, but I'll just do that for now. It's going to be worth it for all the crap I can wear now. Feet. Amulet. Female blue top. Oh, must be female to wear it. Okay. Whatever. I can't be a crossdresser. Oh, must be female to wear that. But what? A nose ring? Hook? Pants? I got pants. I got better pants. Okay. What's that? Weapon destroyed, huh? Wonder why. That's probably what that pop-up said. You cannot equip that. Battery low. Destroyed. Oh, battery low on my headset. Uh, let me plug in my headset real quick here. Unplug my Steam Link. Or my, you know. Let's see. Charging battery. Charging battery. Plus, you know, my headset talks to me, which is pretty sweet. Um, I don't know if you can hear it. Probably not. Okay. Help. Oh. Sorry, dude. I was a victim. Some of these more rats, maybe. What more rats? It's passive enough. I don't have to think about it. Yes. We got two. Ah. <coughs> Bottle to create spirit force. Cockroach. Find a bottle to produce an elixir. Spirit force. I'll take it off. 